Greetings Saber fans, it's your old pal Meg2 Sith. Got an awesome project here. This one is for K Sith. This is a transcendence uh, by Dark Force Sabers. And man, this is just such an awesome saber. Um, it's definitely design friendly, the way they design the chassis and everything. The only gripe I have about Dark Force Sabers Transcendence is that the chassis really needed a lot of work to fit the 18650 battery in there. Uh, it didn't fit the battery and I had to mill out the uh, the chassis on the inside of the Sabre. And also, the chassis that, that Dark Force Sabres made for this, it does not include the capability for a base uh, speaker so I had to hone it out so that it fit a base speaker and not only had to hone out the battery chamber so that the battery could slide far enough forward so I could fit the base speaker in there. So this project is for K-Sith and everybody knows K-Sith. He's been making the smooth swings for Teensy Saber V3 and this is for K-Sith so he can help us continue to making awesome uh, smooth swing sounds on Teensy Saber V3. Just to give you an idea, this is a Black Series. It's a Black Series Kylo Ren. You know, it's a it's a Hasbro BS conversion. Just to give you an idea of the size of this thing, it's very small, very tiny hilt, uh, very, you know, feels very awesome in your hands. It's obviously based on a on a on a Kylo Ren hilt. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I hope K Sith likes his saber. I put a lot of special features into this saber, and here goes one of the special features. Check this out. All right, so really quick, to turn the saber on, you've got a twist and kill key here. So you just twist it till you see the lights light up, and then here comes the secret. So just like with uh, my Imperial Knight saber. This one is awesome. Holy moly. We're going to go Vader. It's got Bluetooth, baby. That's drag, so if you can't see it, just the tip is illuminated. Oh, that's awesome. So let's get to the, uh, this is the balance. I'll do a blade demonstration later, but here you go. Thing is awesome. Teensy Saber Control. I'm gonna turn it off. So there you go. So this saber is also equipped with Bluetooth control. And now, if you'll keep watching, we'll get to the blade demo. Greetings, Saber fans. K Sis, lightsaber. Here we go. First blade. Blaster. Clash. Lock up. And now we're going to go drag. Last couple of LEDs on the saber are lit. Hopefully you can see that. Swings. Next bond. The Light by K Sith. Cyan Blade. Lockout. Awesome. Blaster Block. Graphics 4. 
Boom. Blue blade. Dodger blue. This is your lock up. Balance to my lightning blade. Lock up. Oh, 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 that's awesome. Blaster block. There you go. Only the tips locking up there. That's your drag effect. Next spot. You know I can take whatever I want. Ooh. This is K Sis Cross Guard to Blue Fire. There's the lock up. Retraction. Skywalker. ROTJ. Shamim's ROTJ. Green Spark Tip. Of course. Got Casis Smooth Swing. Everything's got Casis Smooth Swing on this saber. Because it's Casis Saber. Vader. Vader R1. Lord Blaco with Casis Smooth Swing. Lock up. Drag. Hopefully that comes out. Blaster blocks. Ooh, purple blade to the balance. There's your lockout. Blaster block. Next one. The light. Purple fire blade, baby. Your lock up on purple fire. Retraction. Skywalker. ROTJ. It's gonna be green fire. Your lock up. Whoa, Kylo Ren. This is Frederick's fire blade. Took. Casis cross guard. None better. That blade and that sound font is second and none. Second and none. Meg to Sith on stable blade to Casis cross guard. And this is an extendable and tractable blade but it's unstable. A little bit different of a clash. A little bit different lockup. A little bit different blaster block. Here's your swings. Every font also has music. <clears throat> this one is Cantina. Of course, it has Cylon with the music to Battlestar Galactica. Lock up, blaster block, retraction, Rogue 
Rogue Commander, it's a red cycle. This is one of Thexter's fonts. And by the way, Thexter was the founder of Smooth Swing. There's Thexter's lockup on Rogue Commander. Retraction. It's a cycle blade. Next one's going to be a blue cycle. To Truth Crystal by Deo Dad Jason. Joseph. He also, Deo Dad Joseph, made this fun. The lock up. Blaster block. Deo Dad Joseph. Next one. Smooth gray. Smooth gray. This is your Meg Tooth Sestro blade. Lock up. Blaster block. Retraction. Smooth Jedi. Smooth Jedi. Dexter's again. Smooth Jedi font. This is your Star Wars POV blade. When you wave it back and forth in the air, it writes Star Wars in the air. It's a persistency of view blade. Persistency of view. POV. And lastly, your battery blade. This indicates the charge level of your battery. As you can see, it's blue here. That means your battery is almost fully charged. This saber is equipped with a custom saber shop 18650 10 amp battery. And as you can see, it's almost fully charged here. It's an awesome saber. Extremely awesome. I hope you like it, K Sith. All right. So here's K Sith's saber. <clears throat> First of all, to turn on the kill key, you twist it until you get the boot sound. Or you can, you know, pull it out. It doesn't matter. Um, but I, I've cut this slot in it, so it's a twisting kill key. So there you go. It's on. The blade retention, and K Sith, you and I talked about this, but this set screw right here is your blade retention, and you know you're gonna tighten this and loosen this. That is your blade retention right there. To remove the hilt, I'm gonna set my saber back. It's lefty loosey right here. Now. Look, this 3D chassis is tight, and when I told you it was tight, I mean it's tight. I've done a lot of sanding and a lot of fitment on this chassis to get it to work out. But it is tight. So there you go. Once you get it to that point, there is your Teensy Saber V3. Now, obviously you can see this cutout here in this this notch that I put in there that's so I can get the cord into that micro USB port to get the the SD card out um, I use a set of tweezers and I pull and there you go there's your SD card she comes right out and then you just once you get it back in you just pop it back in there's your SD card let me reboot that So the SD card's in. You can see that light tells you you got sound going. There is your Saber Essentials 28mm speaker that I fit into this chassis, which was not designed for that speaker. Um, you can see where the chassis has some rub in it. Um, man, I had to sand the mess out of this chassis to get it to fit here. But All right. So now we're going to show you how to put the USB in. Of course the little end goes down and my USB you can see I've modified it. I've modified it so it can fit into multiple sabers and it slides right in just like that. You can see now why I've cut in that notch where I've cut it into. And yes that notch is visible uh, when you have the pommel on 
but unfortunately that's a necessary evil with Teensy Saber V3. And I've done a lot of work on the Teensy Saber V3 to make sure that it clears everything once it's in this chassis. But there you go. You can see it in there. You can see, you know, that the wiring is fairly clean. Sans the speakers wire uh, sticking up there, but other than that, it is a very clean saber. And then you just thread the bottom of the hilt back on. And I'll show you where you can see that recess that I cut into the chassis. You can see that recess right there, that little divot at the end of the chassis. But other than that, you know, it's no big deal. I'm very proud of this saber. Uh, not only that, uh, this transcendent saber by Dark Horse Sabers is an awesome lightsaber. Uh, it's a Kylo Ren S lightsaber. You know, I have a Phoenix Props the Light on the way, which is like Ben Solo's saber from The Last Jedi, which, you know, I know everybody hates that movie. You know, this Transcendence Hilt is very similar to Ben Solo's lightsaber. And as far as lightsabers go, man, this thing is awesome. Uh, I love this hilt. I'm going to be buying one for my personal use. It's just absolutely awesome. So if anybody hasn't seen Transcendent Sabers, um, Dark Force Sabers, and get you one of these Transcendent Silts. Uh, this thing is awesome. It was very friendly to install. And now K Sith has a saber that he can work on our smooth swing fonts with. And K Sith, just so that you know, you know, when you take the SD card out, don't change any of the folder names. If you have a new font you want to test, you just put it in one of the folders that I already have on your SD card. And as long as you put it in one of the folders that I have on the SD card, your new font will play in, in whatever uh, presets that that folder plays in. So if you change out, for instance, Luke Shamim's ROTJ to be one of your new Smooth Swing fonts, then that your new Smooth Swing font is going to play where any preset that use Luke ROTJ, so the green fire blade and the green spark tip. Uh, that's about it for Casa Saber. I'm pretty proud of this install and I hope that this install helps to Casa Sith to make you know more smooth swing fonts and you know I hope all you other font makers jump on board because this is the wave of the future. You can either miss this train or you can jump on it. Uh, K Sith has not missed this train. K Sith is on this train. And if you have a Teensy Saber V3 or you have an upcoming Profi Saber, if you don't have K Sith Smooth Swing Package, you are making an epic mistake. Everybody get up with K Sith at K Sith Sound Fonts on Facebook.com and get you a K Sith Smooth Swing Package for your Teensy Saber or Profi. Uh, may the Force be with you.